What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Automa Chef. The kitchen run by complete autonomous robots. I'm terrified. I'm afraid for my life. I hope everyone had a fantastic uh, fantastic time the last uh, episode. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Monday, y'all. Let's ease into it. And by ease into it, I just want to see what the easy difficulty is like for this brand new contract that we got in that's just taking care of cheeseburgers and french fries. Apparently, we just go down by $4,000 of payment. And the efficiency target goes from 59% to 50%. We keep our efficiency bonus. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> we get less money and less payment. Now, if we go back, I let's go back. I don't want to go that far back there, Tiger. Hold on. Pardon me. Apologies. Apologies. Machines. So, I've unlocked a bunch of conveyor belts. We've got this ingredients gate. Again, I don't know what any of this does. I can tell by the conveyor belt bridge that it, it, it does exactly what it says. And I'm happy for that. I also unlocked a conveyor grill. I think that'll work out for us in the long run. Um, what else did I get? Did I get something else? Did I get something else? Liquids? Disasters? I have not. I don't think I'll need them though for this one. Conveyor storage tank. Pump. Liquid mixer. All sorts of goings on. So. Let's go back. Let's go to our inbox. Let's ease into this. Accept our contract. Let's go ahead and ready. Ready, set, start. Ready, set, start. Deliver eight dishes during rush hour. That's it? Okay. Okay. So we need an assembler and a packager. Let's flip this, John. I'm going to put you right there. Let's get a packaging machine. Looks like we got that going on here. Let's get a dispenser. We're going to need one for the burgers. We're going to need one for the burger buns. We're going to need one for the cheese. And we're going to need one for the french fries. All right. Um, let's see. Now what we can do is I can just take this dummy arm. We'll put that there. We're gonna take this electric grill. And let's get a smart arm bangerang. And then that'll take care of the raw patties. Oh yeah. You cooked patties. Hitting okay. Let's snag this up. Recipe to follow. Cheese boy. And for you, my friend, we'll get a burger bun. Uh, whoa, whoa. For you, we're going to get some cheese. Let's get ourselves uh, a hit. Okay. Let's get a food processor. And we can probably... Yeah, let's move that in there a little bit. Conveyor belt. Booyaka shot. And we probably won't need to have that all the way over here, but let's get one of these dummy arms. Boom, that'll pick up all of the burger buns and the sliced cheese, please. And let's get some french fries or a potato. We're gonna need another food processor. Gotta cut it up, gotta cut them up. Tell you what, we'll slide this back here, a smidge, a hint, a tad. And let's get a robotic arm. Let's get ourselves a Frymatic 3000. Because that's what you need to succeed. And we'll need a smart arm. Hmm. Let's move this back. I know that when you go into here, if you if you right-click this, John, here, uh, operation mode straight. But I wonder if I make it go to the left... Will it put everything in there? And let's click on this. Check mark the fries. You left. Yep, 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 yep. Anything? No, not it. Not just anything. Not just anything. Uh, the fried potato wedges. Hit OK. Let's go ahead and get ourselves our order reader. Let's get two of them. It's cheeseburgers. Add a new connection part to this. 
Get that one. Yes. Let's connect a new part. One. Add a new part. Fantastic. Add a new part. The grill. And this we will on while the order is pending. Now I'll turn it off. Now for you, my friend, my friend, my friend. Let's get some fries going on here. I wish it wouldn't select, like, when you select this. Can I... Like, I hit that, and then it goes to this menu, and then you gotta click it again, and then hit the one. It's a bummer, man. It's a real bummer. Um, let's see. Frymatic. On while the order is pending. And that should be it. Now we gotta keep an eye on this arm. I just wanna see what happens. Does it turn to the left? Slide to the right. Bow. Crisscross. And we need a robotic arm. I forgot something right here. And we need a dumb arm to get the cheeseburgers out of here. <laughs> Put them on the conveyor belt. Alright, now let's start. We'll speed this up a smidge, a hint, a tad. Again. Okay, okay. We got cheeseburgers, we got french fries. Let's keep an eye on this jam right here. I just want to see what it picks up and if it puts it to the left. Because it kind of hinders on that. Hey, it does work! Oh, that's fantastic. Perfect. So we can make this go to the left, to the right, or straight. Beautiful. Cheese is getting sliced up. Burgers are being cooked, getting picked up, put into the assembler. The assembler's making them cheeseburgers all nice and delicious and juicy. And ready for consumption. French fries, cheeseburgers. Our fry later's off because there's no orders for fries. Everything is working the way it's supposed to. Oh, it's so good. So good. Love it. Alright, well, let's speed it up. Let's speed up at Times three. Look at all these things going. It's a busy now. The people who create these machines go and get to feed their, make their money and feed their families and so on and so forth. Thus, the cycle of life. Wow, there's a lot of orders, bro. When's the rush hour gonna hit? We're getting up to the energy usage here. Like today? We've served 40 dishes. Alright, so finally the rush hour people are coming. I don't like this energy use... ...checkmark. I mean, it's all dependent on whether or not these people show up or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what are these people going to show? 1238, what happens? Like, I'm, I'm going to lose this. Oh, success. Yeah, I came right down to the wire, dog. 1,228 watts used. I served 42 dishes before they even showed up. I don't like this objective. Like electric, electrical energy or less. I get it. I get the reason why you have it there. But with all the other stipulations and things that you need to go ahead, 90% efficiency. All right. Money spent, 38,000. Payment, 54,000. Net result, 20K. Is that okay? Sure isn't. So let's go ahead. 94,000. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Dine and Dash. Ooh. 116,000. Advanced payment, 15 grand. Efficiency bonus, 15 grand. Now we have the Happy Gorger. Let's use this chicken. Also chicken. Use 358 ingredients or fewer. The feed bag. Ooh. Burgers, hot dogs, salad. $112,000. Advanced payment, 8 grand. I kind of like it. Let's go check it out. The feed bag. Deliver 30 dishes. Use 2,835 watts of electrical energy or less. Deliver a meal to a food critic. Tell the food critic to get there before I'm about to go to bed. Please? Please. I said please. Please. All right. So it looks like we got ourselves a hot dog and a regular hamburger, which is fantastic because I don't have to worry about getting any kind of sliced cheese or anything like that. But we will have to make a side salad, which is three ingredients. Sliced up through a food processor and then french fries. Hot dogs the only thing we haven't messed around with. Okay, so 
Deliver 30 dishes, use 2,835 watts of electrical energy or less, deliver a meal to a food critic, payment is 112 grand efficiency bonus. Let me show you what I've done. It's a little convoluted, but I think it's gonna work fantastically. Let's go ahead and put this up here. Let's just pack it in. So, up here we have our raw patties and our raw hot dogs. And we're checking out our brand new conveyor grill to see if we can actually do what we need to do. Um, this arm here, this assembler is going to, ch uh, to our plain burgers. So it's going to, the smart arm is going to pick up the raw cooked patty. But we have this other arm that's going to take the raw hot dog, the cooked hot dog, from there, put it into this assembler. So the same conveyor belt for both the cooked meats. I think it's going to work. Fingers crossed. We also have our hot dog bun going into this assembler, and then the plain hot dog will come out. We got a lot of conveyor belts going on, but we have a lot of space that we needed to take up. I could probably make it a little more compact, but I mean, I'm using I'm using a lot of space over here. But that's just me. I could. No, I'm seeing this. Hold on. Let's pop it here. Pop it here. Pop it here. Let's move this up. Up, Gunther. Up. This assembler, though, these assemblers are really, really packing in the packing in the space if these weren't so wide I could possibly make this French uh, the French fry the potato dispenser over here I could make this line this way but as of right now this is the only space I could use in my own little brain so we have this uh, <laughs> we have this uh, order reader going up against the salad which then goes through the food processor slices everything up and this arm will go and take everything into the side uh, side salad arm throw it in here our french fries, we also have our food processor. I have the, since we don't have too many machines that are hooked up to this, uh, we have the food processor turned off and the frymatic turned off while there are no orders. Can I, where is this leading to? This jam right here, fries. Can I, nice, nice. Let's see if we can turn that off. The least amount of energy that we could possibly use for this big of a project. Uh, the better. So let's give it a try. Cost me $85,000, but I mean, let's give it a try. Alright, looks like everything's turned off. Food processors are turned off. The grill's turned off. Fry later's turned off. Food processor. We're saving it. The only thing that's on are the conveyor belts and our assemblers and our order takers. We're at 4,300 watts. Watts. All right, we got an order for a hot dog and french fries. And the only way I saw this is because I saw the guy, he was thinking it. He was thinking it, we're doing it. All right, so we're going to test out to see whether or not this hot dog is going to get cooked. This robotic arm, is it going to work? Yes, yes, it does, yes. Awesome sauce. Fries are, fries are taking it, bruh. Order out. It, it works. It works. It works. Side salad. Take all the pieces. Get moving their robotic arm. That robotic arm is going to grab up this side salad. Everything's turned off because there's no order for fries at the moment. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, guys. That side salad's out. Oh, yeah. Everyone's ordering hot dogs. It's like Coney Island over here. Like Coney Island on the 4th of July. You know what I'm saying, bro? People want hot dogs, they want french fries. There's a competition. This thing is stuffed. It's stuffed to the brim. So far, energy... I still, I hate this. This energy used 2835. Just don't give me a limit. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything's electronic. You know everything's electronic going into it. So why, why, are, we, why are we playing games? Why are we doing this to ourselves? Now I could figure out a way to maybe tighten this up here a little bit. This food processor here. I could move, well. I'm trying to think of ways to, to, to cram this in. I don't think I can find it though. Maybe make it, get rid of this one conveyor machine, but this one conveyor belt ain't gonna stop me from going over our limit here for energy used. So I don't know. Got 16, uh, 16 dishes are delivered. Let's go ahead and speed up time.
If I could speed up time. 21 dishes. We're going to hit that 30 dishes serve mark with zero problems. But will we serve the food critic in time before 2835 energy is used? How long is the day? There's no clock. Well, there is a clock. Only oh, it's not moving. It's the only thing that's not doing anything in this entire restaurant. Oh, wait. Is the time moving? Oh, it is going. Oh, look at that. It's noon. We're serving all these dishes by noon. I promise you, bro. It's going to be amazing. Hey, look at that. Deliver 30 dishes. Use 21TA35... WH watts, I'm just gonna say watts, of electrical energy or less. Deliver a meal to a food critic, it's all done. Money spent 85 grand, energy used 1293. Wow, we didn't even hit, well, half of it. 95% efficiency. Couldn't have done it better myself. Oh, wait, I did. Hold on, excuse me. Pro pardon me, submit that design. 85,112C. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm trying to think of a way to make more money, and that's... It's like, you have to use so many things in the restaurant in order to complete the objective. So, I have to spend 85 grand in order for me <laughs> to make 112... I know, I know. Look at this. A salad bowl. New kitchen. 90 grand? 22,000 efficiency bonus? What's the easy look like? 84,000... Hmm. Use 390 ingredients or fewer. Deliver 14 dishes during a chicken salad. Cr chicken salad? All right. We'll do one more. He's going to do one more. All right. So these are two brand new dishes that we have not messed around with. And it looks like we have to grill some bread. I suppose. Uh... Okay, it's a BLT. Oh, so we need to... Oh, no. It's bacon, lettuce, and tomato. And then we got a grill? All right. Well, let's see if this assembler... So here's the thing. Like, you don't know whether or not the assembler is the right thing to use until you click on it. Until you place it down, click on it. All right, so BLT. And our chicken salad. Hit OK. Is it packaging machine? Uh, nothing. So delete that. How about assembler advanced? Good. It's a good thing that I had that unlocked. Because if I didn't have that unlocked, we would be in real trouble. But this takes six ingredients? Oh, so that's... That's the difference. It's a shame, like, a uh, new pipe connection. I don't know what that does. New pipe connection. To what? It would be nice to know what that does. Just saying, just saying. All right, all right, all right, all right, enough. Okay, so this round is a giant pain in the butt. So what you, th this game doesn't tell you is that when you hop into a scenario that you're gonna need certain things to be unlocked in order for you to even mess around with this. So for the chicken salad, we got two slices, go and it has to be shredded twice in order for it to look nice for the chicken salad. We also need a carrot, carrot slices, shredded carrot, raw chicken, grilled chicken, grilled chicken pieces, tomato, tomato slice, but at the very bottom, you barely see this little drop right here, and I did too. I was like, what's this fifth bar going to? Oh, this invisible thing, 50 milliliters of salad dressing. So, you're gonna need to unlock the storage tank. And then you click on it and it has Ketchup and mayo. Ketchup and mayo. McNugget, McNugget, what? Uh, barbecue sauce, salad dressing. Initial load, 50%, gross. And we have to connect it to this pump. Now the pump, if you click on it, amount of liquid to pump, 50 milliliters, seconds between pumps. Pipe to storage tank, pipe to assembler. We're actually gonna need an extra order reader just for chicken salad to connect it to this point storage tank well guess we'll guess we'll pop that on there connection to new part boom connection to new part please thank you one boom now 
Our payment's 90 grand, efficiency bonus is 22 grand, so as long as we hit the efficiency bonus, we'll be getting pa 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 paid. But if we don't hit the efficiency bonus, then we're only going to make about $2,000. <laughs> this is terrible. Especially when you have to have all these things in here to make the dishes that it's asking you for. So, this is how we're doing it. We got two bread slices that are coming out of here. They're going to get grilled through this little conveyor grill. Then we also have our bacon strips. They're going to hit the same conveyor grill, and they're going to get picked up by this one arm. Then we have tomato slices through the food processor for the slices. Going to go up to this conveyor belt, going to be picked up by this dumb arm. We also have one lettuce. It doesn't need to be sliced or, or, or minced anyway, so that's going to go into the same conveyor. And then, boom, we got ourselves a BLT, baby, and it's going to be delicious. So... Next, we have our raw chicken. We have to give it our own, its own, its own conveyor belt line. So it goes from the raw chicken to the grill, because it needs to be grilled pieces. According to here, grilled chicken, then grilled chicken pieces. Put it through the food processor. It gets picked up. Lettuce and carrots for this dish need to be uh, processed twice. So we have this one food processor here. We have the tomatoes going through there. That just needs to be sliced once. And we have two pieces of lettuce coming out. And that's all within here. Two, one, one, to two, one, one. All of these separate ones. Now, I could just get rid of these order readers for the food processors. I have these turned off and connected. It'd save us about $5,000. Um, I don't think that there is an efficiency or a, a wattage limit or a wattage cap. These are, I love your wad. Um, but I think this should do it. This is still a mystery. So I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to find out. We're going to find out right now. Ready, set. Let's speed her up here a little bit until we get our first order of chicken salad. Again. All right. Oh, and we got somebody coming in here for chicken salad. Fantastic. All right, chicken salad orders kicked off. All right, so it's all 550 milliliters. That's a lot of salad dressing, bro. That's not what I wanted to do. That's way too much salad dressing. I still don't know if this is going to work or not. Assembling? Nice, nice. That chicken salad takes forever, dog. The amount of salad dressing that's getting pumped through here, it must be showering, must be raining down, raining down salad dressing. So far we got a bunch of happy customers though. Reputation, 100%. We're using so much power, bro. This is getting minced once, cut once, sliced. Good, good. Good, good, good. Fantastic. Now, I'm not sure if lettuce gets sliced. It looks like it gets minced by itself, but it's mincing it again, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. It's not giving me any problems. One time shredded lettuce. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Everything's everything right now. We're only using 59 ingredients out of 390. Day just started. It's only 11. The, the, the lunch rush hasn't hit yet. So everything's running perfectly. Will we get through the day, though? Because this was a giant pain in the butt. I'd really hate to do it all over again. Crazed dishes delivered. I don't know when that's going to start. Are we at noon now? This is the problem, though, bro. This is the problem. I always... Uh, this ingredient... There's always, like, a half... A oh! Oh, oh, good, good, good. We're getting the... We're getting the crazed diners now. Everything's moving so fast. So busy now. Alright, alright. Order reader, 42. What's that one... What's that 148 going? I don't understand the numbers that are on the front of these order readers right here. Uh-oh. Chicken salad's out the door. These people, they're crazy for it. They're crazy for chicken salad. That's all we're doing right now, to be honest with you. 11. Reputation is still 100%. 
We're falling behind in the orders. We're falling behind in the orders. It's going to be fine. Bang. 74% <laughs> efficiency. Really? Meals delivered, 41, $88,000 spent. I'm trying to think. Like, I think that maybe the efficiency is getting dinged by the pump. <laughs> the, the hose of salad dressing that's coming through our assembler. So I think that may be where we uh, rocketed out there. Also, I don't think we need to double the cutting of the lettuce. I don't think I needed to do that. But we did it anyway. And we won. Hey, <laughs> submit that design. 88,000 payment, 90,000 plus 22,000 equals 24 grand. And quite the reputation change. Hit OK. Oh yeah, give me that reputation. 70% completed five, in progress, cash. Give me that money, that sweet, sweet money. Now the feed bag, seems like we just have these three restaurants at the current time. Now the feed bag, $65,000 of payment, hot dog, hamburger. Use 84 ingredients or fewer. I could probably do that on hard. Medium is probably what I'll knock that out at. It can't be that, th it's not that difficult, bro. It really isn't, unless there's some sort of weird thing that there's a BLT. There's all these BLTs everywhere, man. This is going to be weird. Sorry, I trailed off there for a second. It looks like we got a cheeseburger with lettuce and tomato. Ooh. Delicious. But we'll have to say that for the next episode. But folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps help the channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, like shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Automa Chef next time. I don't know what any of this does.